the Obama campaign in 2008 is, I think, where you're going to see a big time rise in political messianism, especially from the left, although you've had it before, you've had it from the right on the left. But this whole idea that Obama is going to change things radically in the sense that what happens when society becomes more secular, the thing is that it becomes more centered upon man and not God. And that's what you saw, I think, a lot with this 2008 political campaign. I mean, there's Ezra Klein of the Washington Post who says that Obama is not the word made flesh, but the triumph of word over flesh. You have Oprah Winfrey in a famous campaign in, in uh, South Carolina where she comes out and says, he is the one. And then, you know, she says, we need politicians that don't only, you know, that don't just embody truth, but are the truth. Or then you have uh, Mr. Tingles himself, Chris Matthews, who comes out and says things like, <laughs> I guess some of you got that reference. But Mr. Tingles comes out and says that Obama comes along, he has all the answers, this is the New Testament. I mean, I could just you know, run through, ton, there's tons of statements about Obama being sort of this Messiah figure. And I think it's important just to recognize, and this is not an indictment of Obama, but as we do become more secularized in some sense, people look to man. I mean, there's a famous Lord Acton quote, and I got it written down. I should remember it since I work, at, work for Acton. But it says, liberty is the highest end of political man. Notice that he says it's the highest end of political man and not just man. And Lord Acton, like many philosophers, saw the importance that strong, flourishing, virtuous faith would play in society. That there is a higher end for man. And I think sometimes when we look at candidates as being a messianic figure or being able to save the country, that can be true from the right too. People that come along and say, you know, that Obama is an antichrist and Romney is the only person that can save them. I, that's the whole important, I mean, I think sometimes when we look to the national level to solve our problems, we already have lost a big battle.